Let's analyze together the latest news of Maxion Solar Technologies. We have the earnings and the stock price right now is going to the bottom. What's happening right now, Enrique? Let's see what's going on, Alvaro. First of all, remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. As just stated, minus 17, almost minus 17% right now. Crazy day, you know, you have also the gap to the downside if we take into account the non-extended trading hours chart. And you know, here in the daily time frame, we had this breakout to the upside happening from that higher uh, time frame resistance area but it seemed to be a false one and from that green level that we had of 0 in more or less the price got rejected very strongly but the thing is with this last earnings you have it right there with the e tab earnings and revenue this day they were released the positive surprise factor for the earnings 102 percent and the revenue also 3.64 percent so why is this going to the lower side guys what is your opinion about this let us know in the comments below Remember, guys, to subscribe to Trading ST and leave your comments right here. We're going to actually read some of them at the at the end of the video. So first of all, guys, you know, we are watching right now the non-extended hours. That means that this gap, you know, is generated because of what happened before the, the open, before the market open. It's incredible, you know, and the thing here is like we're going to show you some theaters that we have because obviously it's very difficult to assess why it's happening but one of the reasons i would say is like like the one 100 stock split that there is like in, in, in that is gonna happen uh, i don't know what's gonna happen enrique but it's gonna happen in the coming months for sure um because right now we are trading at 0 0.09 and obviously if they don't comply if they don't comply with the nasdaq regulations they will be delisted yeah, exactly. The situation with the stock split, we mentioned in the previous video that was the possibility and some subscribers commented that uh, this was being talked about, the one 100 reverse stock split. So we will see how it goes. Obviously, the volatility will be there for sure. As we are seeing right now, the volatility is here, minus 16% today. It's a big move. Let's go to the one hour time frame to see the movement that uh, started with the opening of the market today. This red candle that we have right here, the thing is like this was a gap to the downside. We are talking about minus 46% more or less. Wow, completely insane. And from there, also the bounce to the upside with a lot of strength, we can say. 75% from that 0 0.083 more or less level. But the thing is like that got rejected again and it started to go lower, almost reaching the previous level. The thing is, will it bounce from here and not make new lows again? Or will it continue to the lower side? Let us know in the comments below. And let's go, for instance, to the financial or the forecast. Which one first, Alvaro? Yeah, I would say the forecast because it's insane what we are watching right now because look at that, guys. It's like we have a reporting, a positive reporting earnings and you know still the, the the stock is going down like crazy you know so that 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 doesn't make uh, much sense apart from you know the, the reverse stock split thing but obviously look at that you know i mean this is pretty good data yeah the thing is like if you see the forecast right here for the eps i mean the the reported earnings in the in the fourth the third and the fourth quarter in 2023 the report was much worse than the estimate. And in the first one of this uh, year, it was the same. And in this case, it was the opposite. So, you know, it's, this is something that was completely unexpected because uh, normally if you see companies reporting at least better earnings, uh, you tend to say, okay, in one quarter, they can surprise with more uh, positive surprise factor. In this case, 102% positive surprise factor is a lot. But the thing is, like, the market reacted in this way. So how do you think, why do you think this is happening, guys? I'm very interested in knowing your opinion. And the thing, you see the EPS forecast here in the quarterly, uh, according to this data, it should be going higher. And if we take a look to the annual one, you see uh, for the next year, it will be much better according to this data. And the thing, we have the forecast right here, the price target at the upper part of this section, five analysts only, not a lot of them, but they seem very, very bullish, but the analyst rating is very So mixed opinions right here, as usual, trading can be uh, something, uh, you know, you can have a lot of information indicating different ways. That's why you have to uh, have a, a strong mindset, trading psychology and trading strategies in our opinion. But I want to know your opinion about this company. Why is this happening right now, guys? Yeah, look at that, Enrique. Look at what happened back in the third quarter of 2023 and the second one. Uh, and the stock was trading at $12. And we have a very similar, that those earnings were worse.
that, that, than it is today, you know, according to this data. Uh, so it's incredible to see how they can push a stock to the bottom, to the to the hell, you know, it, it, when, when things are going, you know, as not um, as, as not expected. But I think here I would say um, the most problematic thing, if we go to the, the financial, the financial data, right here, look at the bottom right uh, in the last quarter, it's like uh, we have a huge debt. Uh, and that's the biggest problem that we have with this stock. We have a debt of 445 million. Uh, so even though the stock, they, they can generate a revenue, a good revenue, it's not enough. And that's the main reason probably the stock has a market cap of 5 million because of the huge debt that it has. Yeah, I saw some news, you know, related to the debt situation, like they were trying to improve it, of course. Uh, we don't know how will they do it and if they need to do it. What do you think about the debt situation of this company, guys? Do you think this is the reason why it is going down, uh, even that we have this uh, type of positive surprise factor? Also, we have to take into account the ownership, you know, of this company. You have it in the upper part of this section. Uh, you have 43% closely held shares, more or less, and then free float shares, 56 million, sorry, 56%. So this could also affect, we don't know exactly how, but everything that we have about this company, a lot of data that could give us hints about this current situation. How do you see it? Let us know in the comments below. We're very happy to read all your comments and that's what we're going to do just right now from the previous videos. Let's go with the comments, Enrique. Um, let's see what's happening right now. What people think about this stock because it's crazy, you know. It's like this stock has been experiencing like a huge volatility. I'm going to read exactly what our audience thinks about it. Yeah, I gotta say they are some bearish comments we have right here. I'm in the daily time frame. I pasted all of them. We had just four right there. I can, can you see, see them? them? Yeah, exactly. Let's let's okay. open this one. So we have a John Howe. I've lost faith and learned a big lesson. Sitting with this bag too big of a loss strategy going to stop investing. Uh, wow. I, I even burst like this this other um, other person that we have, all the users, like how much you <laughs> was on it. Okay, that's interesting, you know, because the problematic thing with the stocks like this, uh, such as Maxion, uh, is exactly this. It's like if, if you invest in something that you shouldn't have invested, the losses can be huge. Uh, and in this one, if we go to the daily chart, it's huge. I mean, we're talking about, for instance, those who bought the stock back at the beginning of this year, all at the beginning, you know, like eight, eight months ago, nine months ago, we're talking about like a minus 98%. That's huge. I mean, if you place one, one, yeah, one, 1,000, 1,000 euros, it's like $1,000, it's like, what, what, what is that? Have you got like 20? It's like, wow, well, that's insane. Yeah, exactly. It's a very dramatic situation. We have a lot of these situations in these type of stocks. The risk is always there, but you know, sometimes uh, you have to take that losses and, and take the experience, you know. Uh, of course, uh, sharing that hasn't been uh, easy for you. So thank you very much for being sincere and honest here in, in trading. It's the honest traders. We really appreciate all the comments. Uh, we wish the best for you. We wish that, that you learn uh, a lot from this and, and that the best happens uh, according to that. You know, we don't know the future, but we can uh, try to you know, to wish the best for you. And of course, uh, to remember that sometimes in trading, you, you make a mistake or you take a loss, but you are more prepared for the next opportunities. Or maybe it's just that, like you have to stop investing or stop trading. Maybe that's your own journey, life journey and trading journey. So we wish the best for you. Thank you for sharing that comment right there. We, we send you uh, positive energy right there. And then we have, um, uh, another bearish comment. We only had bearish comments in this one. Uh, he says, it's a joke. Okay, so no more comments right there. We don't need more explanations. Yeah. And then the last the last one talking about the split situation. Yeah, and actually no. it's it, it, it could happen because like he says like Sargit is like going to zero then again zero after a split. It could happen. We saw it in Mullen. We saw it in so many stocks that even right now they don't exist anymore. So it could perfectly happen, and that's the problem with the reverse stock split. Like when the when 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 you create like a such a huge dilution, it's it's, it's very difficult to to see the stock rebounding from those levels. Yeah, and the thing is, like as as you mentioned, it goes to zero and again going to zero because the price changes. Exactly, and many people. Many people tend to believe like the price went up. You know, sometimes it happens, but when you see the candle or the percentage going higher, but other times it's just the reverse stock split being applied and the price changes accordingly, you know? So that sometimes creates confusion between some traders and investors. So 
uh, take that into account also um, from here we don't know the future as usual but if you want to share with us your opinions about this uh, company maximum solar technologies your forecast if you think like this latest earnings could change the situation for this how do you see the reverse stock split a lot of information so you can talk about a lot of things in the comment section thank you very much and remember to subscribe also we wish you a nice week and check out other videos if you have more time bye bye thank you